How old were you the first time you met, what, in a dressing room or... Because uh, I know that when you went to see him, first of all, you took, uh, took your, you your mum, took your sister. Um, but, but how old were you yeah. when you first, like, face-to-face, -face, locked eyes? 16. I was 16 years old. So, so yeah. what was the relationship? But I wasn't a regular 16 years old. I mean, don't, I mean, I was I was a professional dancer by then. I worked. I mean, I was working for corporate events and Cairo, and I had a lot of a um, lot of opportunities at, at a very young age. But it got it got you know sort of more than that because the relationship moved on, the friendship moved on. Uh, he got yeah. your number. You chatted backwards and forwards, and then it came to you um, going out on the on the road with him. Um, uh, you were too young to go out on the road with him, and this is the bit that both Holly and I went, y "What? Um, that your your dad mm -hmm. uh, made him your legal guardian so that you could go on the road mm -hmm. with him." Yeah, I mean, because we, my, I mean, my father saw the back and forth between, between Prince and I. I would send him videotapes of my dancing, and he would send me music, and I kept going on these trips to visit him. And this, he, he just knew. And and when Prince asked him if I could come to Los Angeles, it was actually when he was doing Diamonds and Pearls video. He was doing Cream, and Diamonds and Pearls in the same, uh, kind of the same production. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a possibility that I could work. So instead of having to deal with all the paperwork, because back then there was no e email and everything took two, three days to get from Germany, Europe to the United I, States. I've got to say, I've got to say, my say, I mean, I, I, as a father here, I've got two girls. As a father here, I have two girls. If one of my girls at 17 said, I'm going on the road with a rock star, will you sign over um, my legal guardianship to them? I would have said, are you absolutely out of your mind? No chance. Meeting him, my mother and father, you know, they both spoke to him. And you just know. I mean, it was a trusting, it was respectful trusting, environment. But it, was, it wasn't easy and it wasn't plain sailing either. I mean, lots of the crew... You said they sort of spoke behind your back about what you were doing there, what was the reason for you being there, which that must have been really tough when you're that age and you haven't got your mother and father around to protect you. Um, there was also a moment yeah. when, because you weren't dancing as much and you were on tour and you're eating and you said your body changed and that you, you put on weight. And, and Prince's reaction to that was harsh. Jocking your wages. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But he he's he was infamous for that. I mean, if you notice that's why the the band was so tight and everybody was I mean, it, it was just a respect thing and and was it he respect didn't do or it was very it control? often because it, it sounds quite controlling because no. I mean, even he went further with no. with with your clothing and your hair and all of that thing. I know in a way you can go, well that was him as an artist and that's what he saw and that was his vision. But actually living that yeah. on a day-to-day -day thing, it must have sometimes you must have felt quite stifled. No, I mean, it wasn't like he was asking me to have orange hair or do cra anything crazy. It was something to add to what he was doing, his vision, his album at the time. So yeah. it didn't feel controlling. I mean, it was fun. I never looked at it and was like, I don't want bangs or I don't want to wear this. It was always yeah. like, yes, this is awesome. How, um, I mean, it was Prince. How did he propose? Uh, I was um, promoting um, an album with the New Power Generation, and I was in Spain. I, ironically, in Barcelona, and it was the exact same day that I went to see the show while we were camping in 1990. It was, it's crazy. Uh, our, our wedding program, he titled it Coincidence or Fate? Question mark. And I always used to think, oh, that's weird, that's weird. But now, I mean, looking back and my, my years of living, I definitely believe in fate. So it was over the phone. It's um, oh, really? there's, yeah. the so it's not, not massively romantic if, if he pr proposed. Was it, a, what is it actually a phone call or was it a text? No, no, there was no text back then, back in 1995. <laughs> of course. No, there was no text messaging. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it was over the phone, but then he made, he made up for it because soon after that there was a whole... Oh, my God, my alarm just went off. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> my alarm to wake me up. That's all right. Um, You're doing very well for being asleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm totally asleep right now. Um, no, it was, um, he made up for it by doing this whole paper trail of hearts and flower petals and, I mean, it was very romantic. There is a, there's a lot of detail, um, in the book and we obviously we'd never get time to go through, to go through everything, but, but yeah. you do hint at the fact that you were aware that he wasn't entirely faithful before, during, after. I mean, I, I, I can't 
sit here and go, well, during this time it was this and this time. I mean, it's interesting because after he passed, I, I connected with a lot of, of people and I mean, to hear the stories before me and then hear um, accompanying people that were at the same time with him. I was like, I don't know how this man did it. He, he was, it was crazy. And we were all, we were also shocked last year when we found out the news that, that he'd passed away and, and you found it was Manuela who contacted yeah. you to, to let you know and it must have been, I mean, extraordinary for you to lose somebody like that that had been such a huge part of your life. Oh yeah, it was something, I mean, I, I, I'm from, I grew up in the military and my father was a pilot, so I always had this fear and actually had something traumatic happen where his helicopter supposedly went down and, and it left an impact in me to really appreciate people and, and that life can end so quickly. So I always had that in the back of my mind because, of course, Prince was older, but I didn't think it was going to happen so soon. Um, I thought, you know, maybe in his 80s because, I mean, his father lived to be in his 80s and was a little spitfire. And I, I figured that it would be the same with Prince, but... Yeah. Well, thank you it's, so much. It's tragic. Uh...